So the title of chapter one is Phantom Limbs and Plastic Brains. And one of the first cases that he talks about was one of the first things that I really got really interested in, and that was Victor. And Victor was one that had his um, arm cut off, but he was the one who could feel the sensation from the arm when his face was poked. And the thing that really got me was um, when he put the Q-tip with water and it felt, the man felt the water go up his arm. That just, ooh, that's weird. When I was reading it, like, I was half expecting it to say that it, the water, it, he felt the water go down. That would have been really crazy. And so, um, when I saw the thing about the guy who had, like, the orgasm in his foot, I wanted to look up more about him. So, uh, I, I didn't really find anything about him, actually. But I did find um, a different case where a man had um, cancer in his penis, and so he had it surgically removed, but he had the same sensations in his foot. And so it kind of is the inverse, but supports what Ramachandran was saying. Um, when he talks about, um, starts talking about the mirror thing, and he says the thing about when making a synchronized motion in the mirror, and then making one of the hands go the other way, I did that in my mirror, and it is, it's strange, um, like he said. But the MV app, the mirror visual feedback, I'm starting to think that this Ramashad drawn man is quite possibly a genius. When he said uh, a simple mirror box had exercised a phantom, I kind of giggled to myself. He's a clever man. And so I'm thinking about all, I'm reading this all, and then all of a sudden I realize, or remember my dog, Kuyon. So Kuyon had cancer in his foot, and we had to have his front leg oper um, surgically removed amputated and um and so recently he's been whining when he like goes to lay down or something and I was thinking oh my gosh maybe he has some kind of phantom limb pain and maybe I need to do this MVF on him but I don't know if that would go so well and then the last um one of the last case studies that he had was Chuck um who was looking um, at the phantom image through um, a lens that made it smaller, and he talked about the pain being smaller. And so I figured that the next time I go to the doctor or next time I get a shot, I'm going to bring some kind of inverse magnifying glass or something. 